Steve is also been a partner of mine, and he is a wonderful, wonderful agent and an incredible professional and a great asset to us. And I, I've seen Steve grow his business over the years. So I asked him to come and talk to us for a few minutes about what he thinks has contributed to his success. What has really helped him grow his business so that he is at the top of his game? Hi, everybody, again. Thank you. Uh, you know, I always say <clears throat> the only place you're not going to do business is when you're watching Netflix at home on your sofa, <laughs> which we all love to do. So, you know, over the years, I've listened to a lot of realtors and listened to their success stories. But I, what I came away with was that every single person has their own path, and it's very, it should be organic, and what's comfortable to you. But what I've learned is people like Joyce, who are very philanthropic and very active, it's interfacing with people. So whether you're involved in a charity, whether you're involved in your church or synagogue, whether you play sports, whether you belong to a country club, or you like to take friends and clients out to dinner. It's about interfacing with as many people as you can because I always believe out of sight, out of mind. There's a lot of us. So when, we're, when you are in contact with your clients and your friends, they think of you. And I think that's really important. Along with that, as we all know, um, social media is absolutely critical. So everyone um, should post their sales on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Um, how many of you have a YouTube channel? Great. So for those who don't, you should get a YouTube channel. And when you take a listing, not only photograph it, but video it and then you can upload it to YouTube. And videos, you know, everyone who's watching social media, it's all about stimulation and what's new and what's cool. And so a video um, is intriguing. And I think that that's really important as well. So it's really about being present, being out there, um, and touching base with people. I mean, that's the hardest thing we have to do, right? Tanya? is picking up the phone and calling people that we know and just saying hello. Sometimes it's just hello, what's going on? How are you? And I think that uh, the more you're out there, and the other thing is knowing the market. Because if you're at a cocktail party, you're at a bar mitzvah, everybody wants to talk about real estate. So you really need to know the inventory. You need, you need to study Joyce's list and to know what's sold because that's the sizzle in Los Angeles. You know, it used to be entertainment, and it's still a little bit, but it's really real estate. And people are fascinated and intrigued, and if you can speak intelligently to that, you will come across as very informed. And we, as real estate agents, um, provide information. That's what we do. So that, those are my tips for the day. Any questions? John. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>